year I've gotten really into pro football. Maybe it's getting to host the NFL honors, I don't know, or the fact that literally every human that surrounds me is obsessed with the game. But I now am very into it, and our next guest is one of the voices of the game. You can see her hosting throughout the season on NFL Network. Say hello to MJ Acosta! <laughs> Likewise. Like, I'm, awesome. I just got into it, okay? <laughs> I like, know. Really into it. Like, I'm in fantasy football, too. Same. I have two leagues. It's too much. Oh, I'm going to have more than one. <gasps> yeah. I, 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 That's I, an undertaking. That's a commitment. It is an undertaking, yeah. but it's so, you get so much joy, and you yeah. actually start to learn about the other teams. A hundred percent. Because used to, I just only cared about the Cowboys. <laughs> well, yeah. which is fair. Yeah. I get yeah. it. It's America's team. I yeah. will say. Thank you for saying it, not me. Being, okay. <laughs> <laughs> being part of fantasy football is like my sneaky trick as a sportscaster to make sure that I'm up on every single oh. game across the entire league because you're invested. You're in it. You get upset when you lose, which in one of my leagues, I'm abysmal. And the other one, I'm crushing it. So, you yeah. know, multiple leagues does help with the self-esteem a little. Yeah. So wait, you you started in broadcast uh, while a pro cheerleader, which I didn't yes. actually know that. Yeah. That's incredible. Did you do both at the same time? Like most things in my life, I'm doing all the things all ah. the time, all, all at once. Um, yeah, look at that. It's so tremendous. I was already a sports caster um, when I made the Miami Dolphins cheerleading team. Um, fun fact, though, I tried out five times to be a Miami Dolphins cheerleader before I actually made the team. So tenacity, <laughs> also a central yeah. theme. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you. Um, I tried out in my... Not to age myself, in my early 20s, it was a very long, tedious process. Uh, made it so close every time. So I decided, let's focus. Let's focus on the career path. Let's focus on other dance opportunities. And even once I started my career, I had this, this little tug at me. If I don't try this at least one more time, while I still have flexibility early on in my career, I'm going to regret it. And sure enough, that was the year I made it, made it. Huge advantage being on the sidelines, watching the game develop in front of me in real time, being part of a franchise, invaluable experience that still helps me to this day in my career. That's so cool. Yeah. I never really think about that, but I think that's so cool that, yeah, you were on the field, like, getting that mm -hmm. and hearing everybody. 100%. Now you can hear people, because every time... Now they're mic'd up. Hey, yep. here we go! You hear it that's all. Dak that's Prescott. a good cadence. Here we go! <laughs> it's like every time he does a play, Dak... Yep. Every time, it's like a lot. It's deep in the diaphragm. It's, yeah. hey, it's, it's like, it's every yeah, yeah. time. You're gonna hear it now yeah. if you're watching a game. Be a cute I love you, Dak, I love you. So I love that you also talk about this. You don't play down your femininity at all. No. Because yeah. I feel, like, some, I feel yeah. like a lot of women feel like they do have to do that. A hundred percent. I think not only the industry, and there are so many tropes, um, and I think a big challenge for me at the beginning was because I was an NFL cheerleader, which, by the way, was one of the toughest things I ever had to do. It was so much discipline, so much dedication. It's one of the things that I'm proudest of. And yeah. many folks at the beginning of my career told me, yeah, you probably shouldn't lead with that. Why? When was the last time you were on the sideline of a yeah, game yeah. the entire time? Remind me again? I didn't think so. Yeah. Um, and beyond that, I think... Oh, I love you. I think you can. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. Yeah. I think being hyper-feminine or not, whether you're a tomboy, wherever you are and however you are is how you should arrive every day to work. And that's very hard in sports casting. It's very hard in just the entertainment industry. And I refused to sort of push myself into this little box that they were constantly trying to shove me in. It would be disingenuous one. And it would not serve the folks who watch us, who want to see themselves reflected and want to see themselves represented on the screen or on social media. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so for me, it was very important to remind folks that I don't have to strip away my femininity to show you that I'm credible and qualified for my job. Absolutely. <laughs> I, and you're the perfect mentor. You love mentoring. Yes. And you're kind of the perfect mentor to do that because that is like what people need to hear, especially young women 100%. in this industry. Yeah. That's important to you, right, mentorship? No question. It's been one of the biggest parts of now this, this stage of my career. Because I think when I started out, they were even fewer women than there are now. It has evolved a bit, but we still have such a long way to go. But there were even fewer who were um, really there for you step by step, because mm. when they started out, they didn't have every, anyone. So for me, it was very important to break that cycle. Um, and I remember at the Super Bowl back in Miami, which was such a beautiful moment in my career to be there and to show everyone around and to do these feature interviews. Great we merch. had Just saying. It's fantastic yeah. merch. It the colors were merch. phenomenal. Yes. Um, we had a dinner, myself and one of my colleagues um, at the NFL League office, put together a dinner called the Seed 
at the table. And the whole purpose of the dinner was to create a pipeline between the women who were already in the industry and the ones who were up next, to have a direct face-to-face -face connection and say, okay, not only are we breaking the door off the hinges, no holding it open, we're tearing that thing apart, but we're going to be there with you every step of the way so you know that you're not alone and no one understands the challenges better than we do. We're here to navigate and help you through and hopefully make it a little, little easier than it was for us. Yeah. And I think it's cool, too, because it gets women more involved, too. Exactly that. We have a young, aspiring sports analyst here, and she also has no idea that MJ's here and that MJ has a giant surprise for her as well. So MJ's going to hide for a little bit, and we're going to bring her out just the right moment. So I'm going to say bye right now, okay. but see you in a second. At 12 years old, our next guest is the ultimate football fanatic. So I had to have her on. She seriously doesn't miss a single NFL game. She notes every stat and rewatches key plays endlessly just for fun, which is so cool. But for her, football is not just a passion. She actually wants to make it a career. So everybody welcome Allie. <laughs> Hello. Hi. I, so I'm recently in love with football. So I'm, I'm, you're gonna know way more than me, but I'm <laughs> so excited about it. Um, so wait, so if, what's your favorite team? Um, my favorite team is the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, they got they have great initials. Yes, I like them. Um, <laughs> uh, no, mine's the Cowboys. I love the cap. Don't talk, don't you look at me like that, girl? <laughs> I love them so much. But no, I'm gonna say Mahomes. Is he one of your favorites? Yes, definitely. He's one really of my good. Favorites, yes. Yeah. I would say he's pretty talented. Yeah. So wait, do you want to make football like a career? Definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. And you want to be like broadcasting, like. What do you want to do? Um, I feel like it can really depend on each day. I kind of feel like I want to do something different. Um, I love watching the New Heights podcast, the Kelsey brothers. I think oh, yeah. they're great. They're hilarious. Yeah, yeah, I love them. Yeah. Um, so something like that, like watching and analyzing the game and giving facts and background knowledge to people who aren't the biggest fans of football or who don't know football incredibly well, just making it Me, accessible. I love people like you. Yeah, and you <laughs> inform it. Yes, that's why I love listening to the commentators, the um, analysts, like all that, because I'm just, I'm new to it. Yeah. So it's a really cool thing, because then you get to bring new people into the sport. Definitely, yeah. yes. Um, so I know that you're early in your career path, but we have someone here who's as passionate about sports broadcasting as you are. So she wanted to meet you, because she's very impressed. So she's an Emmy-winning sportscaster, and to us, she is a whole lot of woman, y'all. Okay, so say hello to MJ Acosta! Good surprise, good surprise. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> She's doing something you might want to be doing later. Yeah. What impresses you most about this one? Oh, first of all, I'm already a huge fan, another curl friend, we need more of us <laughs> yes. out here. Um, I think just the fact that you love the game so much already, you're already a fan of it, but also an analyst at it too. So even if you're not on television, right, the fact that you're in it is already a huge step. You're way more ahead than I was at your age, that's <laughs> for certain. Um, but the fact that you wanna bring this to folks who may not understand the intricacies of the game and all the X's and O's, that's what's missing. That's the missing link. Yeah. So I love that you're representing not just the next generation, but really such a big gap that is still needs to be served um, throughout the NFL. So congratulations, you're crushing Thank it. Thank you so much. Of course. Absolutely, you wanna tell her about maybe an opportunity? So I want to make sure that you can continue. I love, she can't have her <laughs> face. Again. Again. <laughs> she can't. She she can. I love, your face, you got gifts for days. I, I, I want to make sure that you can continue down this path and that any opportunity you want to follow. So I want to offer you my mentorship. We can have several different Zoom sessions. I can help you out with anything you want. And next time that I'm in New York, I want you to shadow me and so you can see what the day in the life is like. Oh my in a God. <laughs> Just to be able to shadow her, I think you're gonna love that. What do you think? I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm like, I love She's it. Gonna do great. Oh my god, I can't wait to hear what it's like afterwards. I'm kind of jealous. I want to shadow her too. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm newly obsessed. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs>